Hi guys, welcome back to Tutorials. And in this video, you are learning CRUD operation through React JS and PHP MySQL as a backend. So we have covered so far. We install uh, the React application and then we created form. And after that, we insert the data. In the last video, I also I also showed you that how you can display the data into the browser. Now this time, I'm going to show you how you can delete the record. So first, let's change this code here, this button. So let's change this delete button like this. So here it will be on click this dot delete and then delete. So we need to create this function so that when we click then so first we need to write this code constructor then props super prop delete this dot line so when we click the button the action will be stored here the next one we need to create here delete button sorry function we will create here delete function and inside that we need to call exosis function so this is the code to delete so once again to use this we need to import this one this library we need to import it and then we need to check the path or path is this one so the only thing will be okay so this is the whole part and here will be delete.php so the whole code is like this axios get http oh so there are two times this one HTTP then localhost then react crud and then delete.php so we need to create this file into our php uh, htdocs so let's go to here and check So what will happen when we will click this button then this function will be called and this dot delete will be mapped here this dot delete and bind and then props dot obj dot sid here will be sid sid will be passed here so in fact here will be Query string, then ID equals to like this. So delete.php, then so ID will be passed and it will be deleted there. So now let's try. So one more thing here we need to check this delete. Things. So let's see here how this will work. So first we will get to fetch this ID. So with this ID or is it SID we are passing here? It is SID. So this one. This ID will fetch there. Here. This ID then delete from students where SID equals to this ID. So let's check if it is deleting or not. So we don't need this for each Let's remove this and try here. So inside view, there is something wrong. It's just now it's coming here. Now let's try to delete.
Yeah, yeah very delighted. Everything is fine so far, but the problem is that when you delete this, uh, it doesn't redirect to the view page. For example, if I delete this, let's check once again. Let's insert two records. Let's insert another one. Okay. Now let's check your view page. So let's try to generate this. Let's insert one like this again, just on writing A, B, C, right? K, L, N. Okay, so currently we have two records, right? Now, if I try to delete this one, then it gets deleted, but it doesn't refresh. You need to refresh it. But the thing is that it should get refreshed automatically. So the solution is that let's go to here and we will set the redirect code. So first you need to import this one, redirect, okay? Import redirect from reactor auto and then we will have to set state here. So let's write code, set state here. So redirect initial will be false. And then once the, the redirect is each, let's write this one. Once the reduction is complete, once the delete process is complete, then after that, we will set state as two. So the code is here. This dot set state redirect two. And now at last we will have to write code here. Constant redirect this dot state. So whatever state will be, it will be assigned here. And here we will check if we redirect that means it is true then we we'll write to our v page so now this time if you try to delete then it should work perfectly let's add one more say i j k then add new view click on view and try to delete so as you can see, it is now working perfectly. So that's it in this video. So in the next video, we will work on edit and update section. So stay connected. See you in the next video.